All right, then here it goes. Once upon a time, there's a maiden with beautiful locks and long hair, flowing hair, uh, showed up in Crumbledon. And one night, in the eightful rage, she tied her hair into silky soft ponytail, strangled the poor Bliker in his sleep, and ran away into the mine, never to be seen again. Jesus! Hey everybody, Johnny5 alive here, and welcome back to some more Dragon Quest builders all right so we got the path lit up in our mine shaft and we are now mining silver i grabbed a little bit of my own and am now smelting it let's see what magrog has to say you found it didn't you johnny you found a seam of silver just like i asked the miners should start bringing silver back with with them now but if we need if we ever need a little extra, you could always go and dig some up yourself. I tried to dig as much as I could find in that section, and it wasn't much. <clears throat> From what the lads tell me, it seems this the seams is the deepest part of the mine. Those tunnels have been abandoned for donkey's years. Uh, they were excavated before my fa our fathers were ever twinkles in our grandfather's eyes. Nobody knows what's down there anymore. Rumor has it, the children of Argon, Grand Temple, lies deep within the caves. The legends tell of menacing monsters, bizarre buildings, and goodies of glory. Now we've found the silver in the tunnels, all we need to do is talk... All the, this talk of gold and treasure doesn't seem so far-fetched. Hey, and now we've got some silver to work with. You'll be able to make some terrific treasures yourself. What's up, Dan? I heard it on the vine apple vine <laughs> that you've reached an old abandoned bit of bit of a mine. All oh, thanks to that Goldie Rock superhuman strength. Still, at the current rate, it's bleeding ages before the lads to dig up all the silver he needs. We got to get down to them and put a wriggle on it. <laughs> And there's one thing that's sure to get them fired up is seeing that silver bar of yours take shape. For starters, I was about setting up a bar itself. You need five, five connecting counters with four stools. Put them, put, pull them up, plus a cocktail shaker and a water jug on top. Reckon you can handle that? Of course, you ain't got much progress until you've got the floor down. Better chuck in some silver brick blocks and all. Silver floors? Yeah. Oh my god, that's expensive. Uh, all I'm asking for is a cocktail counter with uh, some water jug on top. If you ain't sure where to put it, just check the blueprint. Okay, so let's just double check this. Uh, five connecting counters. Four stone stools. Cocktail shaker and a water jug. We need silver blocks. <laughs> Oh boy, uh, five connecting counters. Actually, you know what? Let's clear up. Well, actually, before we do anything, I got some new food. And we can learn some new cooking recipes if we throw these on. Oh, base level two level up. We're gonna level up here. So... I want to try cooking the vine apple. I might have already tried that. But the shine apple's new. But we got some shroomies. Okay, you can't cook those ones. But the glumgus. I think that's new. Is there anything else in my inventory that's newish? I think that's it. So we take these off our bar. <clears throat> oh, it's that time again. Seventy-six lumps of coal, twenty-three chunks of iron, twenty-two chunks of copper, and ten chunks of silver. And his share is ninety. Ugh, we got a long way to go. Thank you. We need two thousand nine hundred nine more lumps of silver. Then me become silver golem. All right. Wow. That is many days, but as we get the bar built, 
they will start to work faster. Let's cook all these up. And the connecting counters, where are you? Let's put that on our bar. We're gonna stow away. Oh crap, I guess I need this on my bar, don't I? Oh yeah, we got a, wait, what's a glorious seed? I thought that was a, uh, it looked like a turnip or like a onion at first. Do, 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 do. Okay. We're gonna put away these. So they can cook that up. And there is some food for us, so we're gonna take that. Okay, that makes roughly the same stuff we've already- Oh, that's a tier 1 though. Or tier 2, I guess. Nice, nice. Ooh, tier 2 kebabs. Sweet. Well, that'd be tier 3. Wow. Thirty percent. Damn. Fifteen percent. All right, let's get everything we need to craft this bar on our bar, the pub on our bar. Uh, stone table. I mean, we might as well just craft whatever we can. He said cut five connecting counters, four stools, but we might as well make the other ones we're gonna need. I mean, we could try to complete as much of this as possible, or at least prepare it. Um, two of these guys. We need one full flag, and in order to do that, we need the dig diggers jigger. But make digger jigger. We actually need those fine apples. them in the caggers. Making some wine. Might as well just keep filling it up. I love the way the, the pub becomes bustling at night. It's really something special. Look at all these people. Appreciate me! Alright. Well should ring the bell. Why not? What? Level three. Wow, five more guys. That'll help with, uh, the output for silver. We're gonna need a bigger bunk for all these people to sleep. Carpet, fancy carpet, golden brick, golden tile, adobe window, golden brazier. How do you say that? Brazier? Uh, dining table, round table, connecting couches, cocktails, fungus board, meat feast. Fun sized fountain and curtains. Wow. Awesome. I could listen to the sound of that bell all day long, I tell you. It's so inspiring. It looks like you've some inspiring inspiration yourself, Johnny. You've ideas for golden brazier, gold brick, and carpet vlog, have you? Proper fancy. You've taught up some good some new food too. Cocktails, fungus board, and even some meat feasts. I'll s I'll start setting tables already. It looks like we 
brought a few new miners too. I think things are about to get a lot busier around here. I can't thank you enough, Johnny. We have a few more miners on board. Gold Rocks will be back in its old self in no time. <laughs> well, how about you go and say hello to them new lads? Give them an old crumb dumbling welcome. We just minding our business and we heard a funny ringing. We couldn't help but follow the noise. What's going on then? Building a town, you're mining again. The children of Oregon won't have any of this. Uh, won't, won't let you live with my old days. Welcome to Crum Crumbledon. You lads are here to stay. There's plenty of work down in the mine, and the town's on up and up. Mama must say no. If we disobey the children of Oregon, they'll have our heads for his breakfast. But me pecs are telling me to stay. Oh. Bah, are going to abandon up of foods when we could be living with such gorgeous girl. All right, we'll do it. As long as we keep the mind nice and quiet, are going to never know better. All right. Second six pack of biters moving to Johnny's base. Oh, wait, there is six. Holy moly. Freaking six pack. All right, lots of new stuff. How's our silver ingots going along here? Can I put more in? I think I have to cancel it first. Let's top that thing off, take a nap. I'll be ready in the morning. Appreciation. Wow, that is a lot of freaking miners. Oh my goodness. I really hope the Isle of Awakening gets this many NPCs, if not more, because this is just the farmer town. But when we head back to the Isle of Awakening, we leave uh, generally all the no names behind. So we're only going to end up bringing like probably five people with us or something. Um, but it would be really nice to see like this many miners join the Isle of Awakening, plus the farmers, all that stuff. I mean, I would love to build towns and infrastructure for hundreds if not thousands of people i think that would be amazing if it was infinite that would be even better <laughs> well but can't get our hopes so too high all right let's make some stuff wait didn't i get the ability to make a new sword as well iron broadsword but we're gonna get a silver one very shortly i'd imagine well we might as well go ahead and make this Sweet. Oh boy, let's get these iron blocks going. Yep. Building a silver pub. Let's get ladders. Hey, why is that stuff not going on my bar? I already had some in my bag. So anything with that little mark marker on it, we need to pull out. And that's it. Not making those anytime soon. Silver bricks. Oh. Is there anything else that requires silver, though? Wait, how many adobe... Oh, we can just craft ten. I don't think the, the windows are necessary. Yeah, I don't think they are. Freaking golden ingots. Two tables. Wait. I need a third? Water jug? Cocktail shaker? A 
Five fountains? One pub sign. Well, I guess we could just craft these silver bricks. Why not? We're one short. But this will at least less let us lay down like 99% of our infrastructure. So let's uh, take something off our bar here. Put those silver bricks on. Well, I think I could take this off. But the, I think he said we needed a uh, full flagon. Oh! Perfect. We craft that last silver block. Beautiful. Alright, let's get to work. Silver pub, here we come. Holy moly. This is definitely the biggest thing we've ever built. So we just lay it right on top of the sand, eh? Alright. I guess we start with that. So we're gonna need the iron and the silver next to each other here. Here we go. Jeez. Something doesn't seem right about that. Yeah, I've already messed it up. <laughs> this one's gonna be a little tricky. That's right. And we want to go right up to here. Okay. And then just fill all around. How's that look? Perfect. Ah. This is quite the structure. Very large, too. Uh, <laughs> I can imagine how quickly you could fill up your Isle of Awakening making structures this big, and this is probably not even considered that big. Wait, what am I doing? Why did I do that? Okay, we're just doing a, a row of three at the back. What you to do a marquee? Like, hold it. Oh wait, if you do hold it, that does that, that makes it easier. So at least you can hold it. I did not know that until now. But I never had to place things in this much bulk. It's always been tiny, tiny buildings so far. That's correct. And then over here. Let's see. Alright. <clears throat> so we just fill the silver blocks everywhere else. Meow. Now 
Now I'm wondering, that blank spot in the middle, is that going to get filled with water, I wonder? Because they did say something about a swimming pool. And it'll actually be pretty awesome to see all these people taking a, taking a dip, swimming around. What's this extra block here? What's oh, a ladder? So, that must be the case then, because why else would you have a ladder there? Every, every pool needs a ladder to get out. So I'm assuming the back part is the stage, and she's going to be dancing on stage while people are in the pool watching. This is an interesting concept. I think it'd be cool to make a... I don't know if you guys ever played... Um, Octopath Traveler. I really like that RPG. But there's a dancer in that game. Square Enix definitely likes their dancers. Um, but that... They had these, like, dance clubs. They're really fancy. And... You know, it would be cool to make, like, a traditional Square Enix... Dancing hall. Take some inspiration from, like, Octopath Traveler and try to recreate some of those rooms. I think that'd be fun. I mean, you could actually recreate entire towns for Octopath Traveler with this game. I might actually want to do that. I'll take a, go, a look at some of the different things, because they have some areas that are exactly like this in Octopath Traveler. Hmm, that might be fun. Okay. Holy moly. So he was wanting me to build the uh, thingamajig here in the corner. So, where's our... Let's make sure we get this precisely in place. So I think it's here. Or... Four stools. What is that? It's not a full flagon, it's a cocktail shaker and a water jug. Is that and a water jug? Alright. That was enough? I thought there was another thing. Is there a way to zoom in on this? Look at that. I think we could build that backstage area. Just gotta make sure we get this down right. So we have two iron blocks that need to be placed. Did I place this in the wrong spot? I feel like this doesn't need to be here, right? That's better. What's up, man? Hey, get back here. Sterling work with that counter, Johnny. After a few glasses of digger jigger and a quick dip, the lads will be set for another hard day digging. Speaking of digging, the whole town's buzzing about these deep, dark tunnels you've opened up. It actually reminds me of an old crumbled in legend, a sorrowful story of uh, unacquitted love. I'll tell you if you like. Want to hear it? Sure. All right, then here it goes. Once upon a time, there's a maiden with beautiful locks and long hair, flowing hair, uh, showed up in Crumbledon. Before long, she'd fallen head over heels with, with most of the handsomest geezer on the old island. But this bloke was a bit of a man about town. A bit of a man about town. If, if you know what I mean, the maiden's affection turned to jealousy and then hatred. And one night, in the eightful rage, she tied tied her hair into silky soft ponytail, strangled the poor bliker in his sleep, and ran away into the mine, never to be seen again. Jesus! Oh my god, that's so brutal. <laughs> never expect that to be in this game. Don't worry, it ain't a true story. Just something the miners made up. You'd never guess it if you look at us, but crumbled and crumbled crumbled dunners. <laughs> 
got a romantic side too. Yeah, if you call that romantic, I guess. <laughs> Jesus. Now then, I've got another favor to ask. Well, what if uh, a new pub on the way and more tunnels to explore? We could do with a few more miners fancying giving that bell a ring. If, if we get a few new fences in town, not only will the bar be even more bustling, but the miners will dig up even more metal too. Uh, and if I ain't mistaken, you'll also learn a few more tricks of building the trade. Uh, it's one of them win-win situations, isn't it? it if you want to take care of a few more odds and ends first, I don't, I won't hold it against you. Just ring that bell when you're done. Uh, I've got, I've, I've got to hand it to you, Johnny. The bell really worked its magic this time. Six new faces. With this many miners, we'll be digging up more metal than ever. Maybe we could even delve deeper into the caves. Listen, Johnny, I've realized that all this talk about the miners bringing misery on their own. Eds was a load of old gobblers. And Children of Argon said that the Glinto metal sowed the seed of greed or in our arts and made us scrap over every scrap. Uh, they said the light had blinded us to the truth. But that ain't true at all. The sparkle of silver, the glimmer of gold, and what gives us hope, uh, I don't burn the bridges between us, it builds them. We need more metal than ever before. We've built We've, we've got to bring Golden Age back to Crumbledon. Yes, we do. So let me work. Uh, all right. So we got to make some silver pillars. Is it three high? Three high. Okay, we're probably gonna have to build those pieces first to get up top. I'm gonna start here. What do you guys want? I can't get anything done around here. Hello, Johnny. Uh, how's the building work coming? Along nice and smoothly, I hope. Which is more than I can say for the sig signature gr pub grub. I just can't figure out what I'm doing wrong. I want to try as many different ingredients as possible so I can come up with the perfect crumbled in dish, but that bonfires ain't up to the job. If I had a frying pan, I could cook stuff together. Maybe make a breakthrough. Uh, could you make me one, Johnny? Oh, cool. Once you've made it, just whack it on top of my old bonfires in the mushroom cook room. Then I could start on me with recipes. So I was saying this back in uh, Farrowfield Farms. Like I was like, oh, I wonder if we can ever mix ingredients in the future. And the, the pan is obviously going to allow us to put, like, multiple ingredients in. That's cool. <laughs> Always good to see your smiling face, Johnny. That grin of yours never seems to fade. So perhaps you're the perfect person to help me out with something I want everyone around here to smile a bit more. Uh, no matter how hard life is mining, in a mining town could be, if we had a card table near the pool, it might be a nice... Little morale booster uh, for the fellows love their games, especially when they're playing for the stakes. Uh, it's already sketched out in your blueprint, right? It's just a couple of stone stools and stone tables, uh, stick a pack of playing cards on top, and Bob's your uncle. Uh, these can get pretty heated when the lads play cards, so you better reinforce the floor with some 2D iron blocks so it can withstand the sore loser's stomps. <laughs> That's awesome. I wonder if it was wood if they'd actually like, break through it. Alright, that stuff sounds pretty easy. Uh, let's get this up. Wait, is this... Okay. Bing. Just fill, fill, is it too wide? It is too wide. Frickin' Lego Mania here. Alright, that looks good. Replicated over here. Bam. Bam. Beautiful. Uh, now we just fill with silver. We're going to need some ladders to get up. I like this aspect of the game. It's so chill. And I can't wait till I'm designing my own stuff. Just freeform. 
I know I'm gonna lose freaking hours and hours of my life playing this game. Once once we get all the recipes and unlock everything. So many options. Look at that. Oh, gotta fill the middle here. What? What do you mean you can't place this here? Oh. That's our little stage. Looking good. We need some ladders here. We got the fountains. Let's see what else I need to put on my bar. This. This. Thought I made. Okay, we have cards on our bar. We pretty much have everything, don't we? Oh, whatever those light boxes are. They're golden. Yeah, so the golden stuff's just gonna have to wait. The fountains. Okay, it shows us where the fountains need to go. Not to eyeball it. I still missed. I wonder if I should go ahead and fill this with water. Looks like we have ladders here. Why not? Let's do it. I can always I can always remove it later. Oh, that's sick. It counts as a room when you fill it. Oh my god. The people are stoked. Everyone, get in the pool. Pool party! <laughs> That's amazing. All right. <laughs> He's just little tiny whities. Little swim trunks. I don't really want to call them. It's hilariously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great. Look at them go. Alright, that should increase morale. We need to get the tables and seats down. Where does that exactly go? Somewhere here, right? And then the seat. Frick, that's annoying. There we go. One on this side. I think that's right. This one takes the... Oh! Alright, let's see how much we get now. Should get a nice little boost with all the additional miners and then... All the happiness. What did we get last time? Like 10? Or something? Oh wait, no, he got 90 and I got 10. Okay, that's only one more than last time. But he got 123. I mean, it's an improvement. It's not much of a jump at all, though. I thought it would have been a lot, a lot better. Uh, 2,786 more to go. Jeez. Okay. We still got our work cut out for us. So I think this goes on top of there. The cards go here. Yes. If I would have just got those cards down in time, we probably would have got a nice little chunk more. Now, anything else that I can do here? What is this stuff in the back? I would, can you strap this? Rotate. Zoom. Yeah, no, you can't really shuffle it. So it looks like those are tables and chairs. Did I even make those? What is this? Barrels? And iron. I have the iron. 
I think the chairs and stuff come from tier 3. Unless we didn't unlock them and I'm just forgetting. Now, we have a ton of barrels. Hey man, what do you want? Thanks, Johnny! Uh, when the miners see it, I'm sure they'll be grinning from ear to ear. Uh, not that you can ever see their faces <laughs> to find out. Uh, there, there's one way of telling whether they're enjoying themselves, though. The more the townsfolk like what you've done with the building, the more gratitude they give you. Everyone needs to smile after a stressful day. Just look at Babs and how hard she works. I don't know how she does it. Not only does she got her dad in his pub to worry about, she's got that rabbit suit on to keep the biters content contended. And to top that off, she fights the monsters as well. <laughs> she is quite the badass, isn't she? Uh, but don't get your wires crossed. It's not like I like her. Like her. I, I, I just really, really like her. <laughs> what? <laughs> Babs is my angel. My light is my darkness. So if you're thinking of having her to all yourself, you can get right out of it. Everyone loves Babs. What are y'all babbling about? Alright. Let's get this in. What do you want now? Tony, if I ask you a serious question, will you give me an honest answer? Does Babs look unhappy to you? Sh like she's putting... putting about something? You what? You reckon this place must be a paradise for an intelligent girl like her being chased around by a load of hard fighting, hard farting meatheads? Well, you ain't being sarcastic, are you? I never can tell wh when you're winding me up. Anyway, she looks upset to me. Must be all the sand around her stuff gets everywhere. That's where you come in, and I need you to put together a shower room so Babs can tell all the scratchy sand. Can, can tell all the scratchy sand to absolutely do do one. If Babs is gonna shower in style, her walls have got to be silver brick bo blocks. As for the location, somewhere in the silver bar might be a good spot. By the silver bar. And then you gotta fill it with a shower, a folded screen, a towel rail, plop a ball inside, and you're done. Wow, more building. It never ends in this town. It's definitely turning, shape it up to be a longer act than Furrow Fields. Because we're not even halfway done, really. So we still gotta do silver, gold. I mean, the gold is included in this, so I don't think there's gonna be a golden bar. I really think this might be the end of it. But they're going to be adding in additions like the shower house and stuff. So I'll figure that out in a little bit. Um, is that the last barrel? The one up here. And the tables go over here. Um, there and I think... There. And then there. Where's this pub sign go? I should say. Ah. Oh, we, we can't put it down until we have the... What is that? Oh, no, we can. Beautiful. You know what? We can stack this even higher. Durr? Why didn't I notice that? Good googly moogly. Is this two more high? How do I even get that high? Can I build while I'm on a ladder? I guess I can do this. Three. <laughs> My goodness. Uh... 
And we have to wait for those special light boxes. Fill this in. Two iron blocks. Does the ladder go all the way up? It does. Would you look at that? It needs a big sign or something. Getting hungry here. Two blocks here. And I think we're just waiting on the finishing touches. Is there more ladders that I'm not aware of? No. Iron blocks. It says we're missing two. Okay. One's supposed to go here. Wait, what? Oh, here. Whoops. Sorry, guys. And one in the back corner here. And then that's gold, deck chair. I don't think I can make deck chairs. I have the craft collection, pretty sure. Put those down. One there, and one there. We're almost there. We just need some cocktails, some umbrellas. Very close. I don't think I can make that stuff yet. Let's go check. So we need prickly pop. What is a prickly pop? Oh, we need the bathroom stuff. I think you said one folding screen. She wanted a pan. Oh, wait, I think we have a few fires in there, so we might want a few more pans. I don't know how many towel rails we're gonna need, but I might as well. Oh, I can only make one. What else did he say? I think that's everything we can do for now. So we unlock the next tier. I gotta figure out what a freaking prickly pop is. I might I might just build a little house in between episodes because we did a lot of building in this one. And uh, I don't know if you guys enjoy watching me place blocks or not, but it's part of the game. It's part of the process. Uh, I definitely enjoy it, but it's you know, it's not as interesting as the story. It's something that you just kinda have to put, you know, go through the motions. Um, let's put the frying pans inside and see what happens. So we just place it on top. Oh, that's wicked. Oh, look at that. You put the frying pan on top of the bonfire just like I asked. Now we can cook two ingredients together. Now, Johnny, there's a recipe I've been just dying to give a whirl. Mind helping me find the ingredients? We'll need some mushrooms and some succulent slabs of meat. Then, bunicorns, yes, you see up and out there in the desert, they'll be, they've got some tasty cuts on them. Actually, the recipe's so simple, you could even whip it up for me. Just put a mushroom and some meat on the frying pan and give it a sizzle. All right. I think we might actually have that stuff. Or might I've cooked my meat. We have let's check the bin. We got some mushrooms, we'll take those out. We just need to get some meat. Appreciate me. 
All right, let's get a couple steaks. Cook this bad boy up. That. Scorpion. Did I actually get meat from him? I'm just getting fur. What? Oh, there we go. Awesome. All right, let's go cook up a dish. Mushrooms and steak. Oh. Babs, no! I can carry Babs. <laughs> Somebody clear a bed. How do I place her down? There we go. We do not have enough beds. That is certainly a problem. It's got some things to say. And, and this town's only going to get bigger. Hey, everybody out of my kitchen. Place, place, cook. All right, here we go. I'm not having them all just munching in there. You guys are eating all the raw food. Freaking silly goobers. Do I have any? Thing I could put in there for them. Um, oh, cactus cutlet. That might be how we get that pop thing. Might be a special recipe too. Wow, that certainly takes a while to cook. <laughs> Look how many people are in here. This is ridiculous. <sighs> Ninety-three percent done. The silver bar. I mean, we, uh, we should get a screenshot of this while we wait for that to cook. So there is a new contest. Um, as I was loading the game, it said that there's a new hashtag for a contest, and it was like Dragon Quest Memories or something, um, which makes me go, shoot, I sh instead of taking Steam screenshots, I should be taking more in-game photo mode screenshots, because if we open up my album, I really only have a few. I don't know what that is. Let's delete that. Someone else's creation. They made a coaster, which I thought was kind of cool, but I went to visit it and it wasn't really there. Um, but yeah, like, I think submitting something like that might be good because, in terms of uh, Dragon Quest memories, I mean, this this is definitely a memorable moment, but I should have taken a little bit more. So that's a good moment. But you can't, if you've already beaten the game, it's hard to get that screenshot unless you've already. Unless you've been taking screenshots along the way. And the first person to submit a uh, image is probably more likely to win because they can build up the votes over a longer period of time. Um, I thought something smelled good. That's exactly the kind of grub I had in mind. Can I have a closer look at it? Turf and trough. <laughs> 
Turf and Truffy call it. It looks bleeding scrumptious. Uh, the lads are gonna love it. I just hope it's the spot after the uh, on a hard day's digging or dealing uh, out the drinks in me dad's case. All that hard work must really take it out of him. Hey, you reckon it's nice of me to put everyone's health first? Don't get me wrong, Johnny. This ain't just fuel. Food, it's fuel. The more good grub they get down them, the more metal they'll be able to mine. Anyway, thanks for helping me with my dish. If, if I start practicing the recipe right away, I'll be able to make it myself in no time. Food ain't just for filling my empty stomach, you know. It can be have other benefits besides... So, ex ex expand your palate. You might be surprised by what you find out. Uh, good job getting those miners on board, Johnny. Now we can take a big step forward in the search for more silver. Uh, you see, a single seam of silver won't be enough. Do you think you can find three more seams? I'm sure there'll be more down there. All right, lads. All right, lads, you heard my wrong. Time to get work. Johnny will be waiting for you when you get in the tunnels. Come find us when you're ready. Johnny. I heard he was going off in search of more silver, so I put together a packed lunch for you. Here. Some more surfing trough. I ain't quite perfected the recipe yet. This is the only the edi this was the only one edible looking I managed to make. Uh, still help keep your strength up. Thanks, Babs. That's not fair. Since when have you been her favorite? Get out of my sight, Johnny. Find Doogie and lead the lads to a few veins of veins of silver. Uh, Doogie said he'd be waiting for you down in the old lift. I'd recommend warping there if you can. New destination has been added to your map. All right, looks like I got some work to do, and I think that's what I might do in between this episode and the next one that you guys tune into, is uh, I'll make that shower room, uh, I'll go get some more silver and stuff, and just get, get some of the grindy things out of the way. Uh, I don't know if you guys consider this grindy or whatnot. Uh, I thought it was kind of fun to build. I don't know if I should be doing this stuff on camera or not. But uh, again, I'm so far ahead of you guys in terms of making these videos. By the time I read your comment and find out, but I mean it's good. It's good to know. I love reading your guys' comments. I will be reading all your comments for the series. So uh, whatever you think I should have done differently, I'll I'll take into consideration for the next let's play I do or future episodes of this game that I do. Because even after we're done the story, I will also you know be playing this game more, doing let's builds and checking out people's creations. So any feedback is definitely much appreciated. And uh, I'm just looking to improve on my my let's plays. I haven't really done them before, so it's all new to me. It's been fun, and this game is really fabulous. I'm, I'm really enjoying it so far. Uh, can't get enough of it. Boom. All right, that's going to do it for me here today in this episode, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye now. Yo.